Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Clay's Elden Ring, and we are here in crumbling Farum Azula. The city in the sky, the temples in the sky. We have seen traces of this for 130 plus hours, and we're finally here in the flesh. Here are my stats, pause it if you want to know any more, but let's get right into it because I just want to take all of this in. I mean, just, just look at it. Oh my goodness gracious. What kind of exploring are we gonna have to do here? I mean, there's obviously places right below us, but I don't think, unless you can jump into the tornado, oh no. Oh no. I can summon, there was a summoning pool. We had a side of grace right nearby. I think we may be in, oh, oh, hello. I was gonna say I think we might be in uh, boss territory. What is this, land, land, land sex? So I'm not dead. Not really alive so much. <laughs> ah! A little bit of reprieve up here. Oh, except I'm losing my demi humans. Not really a boss. Oh, but you have health for days and days. Back up. Demi humans have seen, um, you know, much better days. Oh, that is perfect, yeah. Go ahead and face me like that. That is excellent. I'm not mad when you do that. Back up, back up. Roll away. Yeah, get his attention. Get his attention. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. That's gonna hit me. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, so is that. So is that. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. How much this is working? It's gonna get him! Holy cow! Shard spiral. Another ancient dragon. Beautiful. Take it. Take it happily. Okay. How many more of them am I gonna have to fight? <laughs> Will it be as that you know that telegraph? I keep being told to use dragon wound grease against dragons and for some reason that feels counterintuitive because it says that it, it actually applies dragon something or other like dragon abilities to weapons it doesn't say anything about dragon slaying but you know oh so what was this called crumbling beast grave depths I don't really want to go down so much can I get backstabs on them? He's got a shield. The answer is yes, and it's a one-hit kill right now. That's perfect. Uh-oh. Oh! Can I proc frostbite on you? <laughs> I can slash from death with misery cord because it's that good. Oh, and there's another summoning pool. What is this? <laughs> what, what are you trying to do to me, game? All right, now 
I can get on the roof here. Which means I could then drop down theoretically to there. Hmm. There is an elevator that goes down, it seems. But let's stay up. Let's stay up for now. One, two, three, four, five. That's how many I counted. I don't know how many I can sneak kill. It's kind of designed for stealth though, isn't it? Oh, jeepers. Let's heal up. I'm gonna sue, oh, oh, I was wrong. Oh, what? Oh, that hit somehow. That doesn't even make sense. That's fine. That's fine. Do you, you know where I am, don't you? You actually don't. are guarding something really important though. Wait a minute. Is that a door you're in front of? What is that? Okay. They're all gonna, yep. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Whoa, you're still just kind of going to town, huh? From that range. Can you get me from here? Can I get you to come this way? What are you throwing? Okay, you're not able to get very far. Come on, do that again. Uh oh. There we go. Got him, got him, got him. And what did you guard? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. It's exciting, I guess. Oh, do I want to drop down? I don't think I have much of a choice now, right? Let's see. Well, let's deal with him the old fashioned way. I think three was overkill. But that's all right. Okay, let's do a little sneaky. Especially because this guy's back, you know, to me for now. For now it is. Let's go up a little bit. Oh, okay. Never mind. So that just looped around. That's a nice little nice little thing to remember. Let's grab that, but I'm gonna actually go back around and go down the other side to see if there's maybe another beast. I can backstab, get a good sneak on, right? You saw nothing? You saw nothing? See, I told you. Turn around, you don't want any of this. See, as long as you're quiet, they'll never find you. Oh my gosh. 
It's so, so big, this area. Okay. So there's one right there. Is that the only one I see? I mean, it's the only one I see. Is it the only one here? Ah, oh, crud. Not by a long shot. Okay, that might be enough. It is. Can I... Can I get one in there? I could. I could have. Nope. Come on. Lock on. I'm still never going to get old. Ancient dragon. Wait. Did I get an ancient dragon prayer book? Did I not? No, I didn't. Okay. Lost home that never reached the lands between contains red lightning, ancient dragon's lightning spear, and strike. Hey, remember the time I said I was going to uh, gonna go back and talk to Gideon about this place? I didn't. Oh, Sight of Grace. I feel like they're being pretty generous with Sights of Grace. This is so cool. Okay, we're not gonna rest, of course. Somberstone Miner's Bell Berry number four. Okay, so that's gonna allow me to buy maximum Somberstones. Seven and eight. Oh, and Sanctuary Stones, cool. But yeah, seven and eight, that's great. Oh, no nines though. Okay, that's fine. Is this the primary tornado? Is there a primary tornado that I have to aim for? Oh wow, look! Wait. I should have looked around. You're I'm actually below the mountain tops of the Oh you know there's something stone. <laughs> something cool. I don't wanna go there yet. Alright, that's where I fought the dragon. Okay, just try to try and keep everything in perspective here. Number of things we could possibly do. We could go and give the prayer book either to Corin or the turtle. Probably Corin. It's kind of my preferred, even though it's kind of silly. Maybe, you know, he'll eventually do something else with his life. I don't know. But we can also go talk to Sir Gideon. Oh, I hear voices. I don't know what voices I hear, but I do. I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're gonna go. What? Is that just supposed to be water on the ground? Oh. It's, uh, old worm face. That was, uh, that was unexpected to find. Okay, what's up with that? I've got to go investigate what's up with this little circle area. Assuming something horrible is going to happen and I'm going to die, but we're going to do it. Yep. What's flying in? Dragon. Just a dragon. But not a lightning dragon? As if you need to be lightning to kill me. What? 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 Oh, that's your move. That's a good one. Okay. Alrighty then. <laughs> Alright, since I died. Since I died, I think I am going to do those two errands that I just talked about, which were to go to the round table hold. Talk to some people there. Oh, what? What happened to the round table hold? It is uh, in Fuego. Hey, 
Yeah, you're still just studying. You burned the herd tree, didn't you? Then the round table is soon to follow. Ah, no need to fret about that. The round table holds served to put a tarnished upon the throne of Elven Lord. And if the herd tree needed to burn for that to happen, then the round table must go as well. I'll stay at the round table for a time. I must learn all that can be taken from this place and seal it into my memory. How could I call myself the all-knowing if I did any less? The pursuit of knowledge is without end. For knowledge is never a thing complete. Thus, I maintain the mantle of all-knowing. Perhaps the same could be said of guidance. Who's to say whether we'll remain who we are once the fight is finished? What do you think? As one who aspires to become Elden Lord. Well, what is it? Oh, and that's all he's got. Alright, uh, Husk, I have a couple things for you. And how much are those sombers? Ooh! 20,000 for level 8s. Oh gosh, what do uh, Hugh and Roderica have to say about the round table hold being a little, a little bit on fire? Actually, you know what? I want to go talk to the Finger Maiden. You've done it, I see. What use do you have for me now? I am a finger reader. I will remain here until their dialogue ends and the fingers speak again. Do as you please. Take whatever course seems most worthy to you. Now you may go. But can I still talk to you? <laughs> You'd force this time. <sighs> yes, I will. Yes, I will. And can't buy anything new there. And I can get Giant's Red Braid, which is a whip. Every giant is red of hair, and Radigan was said to have despised his own red locks. Perhaps that was a curse of their kind. Imbue the red braid with the giant's flame and lash out in a wide range with a series of agile swings or burn o flame. Fire giants borrowed from the power of a fell god, and still they were defeated. Yet their failure released them from their solitary curse to serve as keepers of the flame for eternity. But that's that was America's curse, right? America's no. curse for them? Alright. Oh, you've moved. Take a look around. The round table hold is burned, raised to the ground. Don't worry, I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before, which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. His roots are so knotted in this place. He won't last much longer if he stays here. His shackles are broken. He's a free man now. It's high time he put the round table behind him. I would actually love it if you left, to be quite honest. I see. That's all you've got. All right, Hugh, you're up. Oh my goodness. So does it actually show that he's free? It does, doesn't it? I knew you'd be back. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Weren't you listening? As I've always said, you came to challenge the demigods and their god to slay them. And as long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. I love that he is still dedicated not to the round table hold, but to us and our cause, even though I don't fully understand what our cause is. He wants to kill a god, and he'll do it through us. Oh, boy. Who else might have some information? There's no one here. No one here, right? Okay. Let's go give this book to Scribe Corrin, assuming that he's still up on the bridge. Right? He is. Okay. So let's go... Snow Valley Ruins. Uh, trying to think. I mean, the turtle. The turtle is very, very wise. 
Muriel. And I know, once again, just, just so I'm perfectly clear, I know that I can give this book to Muriel, but this is just from a role-playing lore, not even lore, but just role-playing and character-building perspective. I'm going to give it to Corrin. I've been doing it all along. I'm going to continue to do so just because, you know, Corrin, even though he hasn't helped me out, he's on a quest. He's done me no wrong. And I would like to see him to continue to pursue knowledge. You know, in the, uh, in the adoration of the uh, gold mask. <laughs> and then we'll head back to crumbling for room Missoula and... Oh my. I wasn't sure when that cutscene was playing if the earth tree was actually being set alight, but that... Boy, that just proves it, doesn't it? Oh, what if I go back to the throne now, though? Hmm. Ah, I missed it. I wonder... See, now I'm, I'm afraid to. Is crumbling for room Azula mandatory? Or do you get teleported there kind of with the smoke and the ashes once you're burned? And then... You just have to go back to the throne room and the Erd Tree in order to finish it off? I'm not sure. All right. It will make me forget, you say, so that I could. What that I could? That. It's incantable. It's always a word of heresy. Well. I cannot. Even if it offers only the most. All right. Let's take a look at those. Spoken of in legend. Red lightning is the weapon wielded by the ancient dragons. May the golden ord. I mean, the earth trees on it will make fire. So you have nothing new to say. What that I could. That's weird. May the golden ord. Okay, here we're gonna try it. We've got to try it. The earth trees on fire. So where? Oh, that's what this is. Okay, so that's crumbling for room. If this triggers the end, I'm going to be real, real mad. I should almost drop a save. Well, I mean... It looks like the briars are still intact, right? Okay, alright. Just wanted to be sure... Just wanted to be sure. Um, hmm. Okay, a couple things we're going to do. A couple things. I am going to go to the Church of Owls. I want to talk to Muriel. I don't think there's too many other NPCs still alive, honestly. Let's talk to Muriel, see if there's any information from the Turtle Pope. Then I might go talk to Jar Bear and see if he's done anything. Greetings. Hmm. You know, it's said that Lord, a famed sculptor of the Erd Tree capital, was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. Ah! Did I really not listen to that before? That's the whole secret behind the statue where you have to use the law of regression to transform it so you find out that Radigan is America. Mar America is Radigan. To experience the miracle, kneel in the absolution. Now I'm curious. Do I need to absolve myself? Nope. Sure don't. <laughs> Alright. I didn't think so. Alright. Jar Baron, you said you were going to go off on a journey. Oh, and there's other, one other thing I have to check. It involves patches, actually. Oh, good, you're dead. I don't mean that. I'm not actually happy that Jar Baron is dead, but he looks rather dead, huh? No, you're not. You're not. You're sleeping. in blood. <sighs> Is that really it? <laughs> what a weird character. So in patch 1.04, Patches had a slight extension to his quest. 
Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because I think his quest is tied with Volcano Manor, which I obviously disrupted by killing Lord Reichard early. But if he's around, he is at the Shaded Castle, and I should find him by the boss entrance or by the boss arena if he's if he's still there. He may not be. There's a very real chance that uh, I've just missed out on it, but we'll take a look. Assuming he would be just up above or down below, wherever it is. Oh, hi. Um, not nah, dead. <laughs> what? What? I just brute forced one of those big knights with misery cord? <laughs> Stop it. That's great. Hey, got the clean rod armor. And their knight's sword. I don't know. I don't actually know where he would be, but I think I would have seen him by now. Yeah, I I'll go back one more time and just make sure I didn't miss him on the bridge. I could go back and check Volcano Manor, I suppose. I don't think he's gonna no one's there. Ooh, we also need to find Alexander though. <gasps> Where would Alexander be? Is it possible that he Oh! Oh, patches! You again. A shame you had to see me like this. Oh, I, I had a bit of a slip up, that's all. I should have stuck to what I know best. No matter. I know I, I can trust you. Gullible, yes, but uh, a good soul. Make certain that Tanith gets this. Dancers, castanets. Uh, so Tanith left. Oh, it's it's nothing. It's just makes me sick to see her all bent out of shape. Come on, Tanith, back on your high horse where you belong. You're able then. Then. Uh, what? Are you dead? You didn't know. You didn't die. You didn't drop anything. Are you breathing? He's a faker. He's a phony. All right. Well, now we're on a hunt. We're gonna go to Volcano Manor. I don't. I don't think she's gonna be back miraculously. But we will see. Oh, we need to take a look at the. What are? Why does she need castanets? Castanets used by dancers from foreign lands received from patches. The passionate dance comprises no seductiveness, but merely a dignified beauty. Okay, so what? <laughs> what? What's the point? So is he now... I guess I have to go back and see if he's gone now. And if so, where did he move on to? It probably just goes back to his original cave, back to his bandits. Unless he's, you know, here dead and he left me something. Uh, nope, he's gone. Yep, he's gone. Let's try it. Let's go to his cave. What is it? Murkwater? Murkwater cave, yeah. Because he, he talked about how he should have stuck to what he knows. What he knows is robbing. What he knows is apparently running a group of thieves. So let's see if this is exactly what he's done. I bet it is. I'm just not even gonna worry about these things. Just die. Of 
course, I passed the entrance again, didn't I? Yep, yep. There's a mist again. <laughs> and a treasure chest. Really? We're going to do this again? Well, well, Glass shards. I thought you'd just help yourself to a man's personal belongings. What a goof. You scheming little thief. The gods demand repentance. Cough up your coin. All of it. Ah, ah. Pat <laughs> patches? Wait. Don't tell me. Is that you? Oh, Christ. Please, wait. Okay. All right. We're done. We're done. I surrender. I swear. He actually recognized you. Okay. That's a cool little twist. That's a fun little twist. I'm not... Unless you have to kill him. There we go. And there's the patches crouch. Glad to see we're not on the, the squat, same page. but the crouch. I'd never cross you. Not even close. Ah. It's been ages since I've seen you. I didn't even realize it was you. Took you for a demi-human or some such. Uh, you know how it is. Just an innocent mistake. Water under the bridge, eh? Back to business as usual. Hells bells. This bandit business is hardly what it's cracked up to be. Especially if we keep running into the likes of you. Hmm. Maybe I'll set up another shop with the lads. Hmm. So... Is he gonna have another shop with expanded inventory? Alright, let's just run. Can't really see, which means you definitely can't see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pardon me. Okay, so he's moved. He's over by the fire now. Are you gonna come this way? No. All right. Well, finally made it, eh? For the grand Rio, where you won't need a. Re it looks the same. Yeah, it all looks the same. Stupid market shackle that I never bought. Ugh. All right. Cheers well, I guess that's it for him. The only other person I'm curious about is Alexander. Did he return to Jarburg? I didn't actually even think to look around. Because, obviously, I summoned him for the fire giant, which means he's way, way, way up here. Although, you know what? Time out. We're going to check this, and then we're going to wrap up. But I'm going to check the arena. Every time there's been a big fight, almost every time there's been a big fight, something happens in the arena that you can interact with or you can do, you can find. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if Alexander is here somewhere. Nothing is standing out. Okay, not by this first entrance. Not by the second entrance. Alright, maybe, maybe not. It certainly feels like it's uh it was worth a look though. Where would he have gone? He could be in Jarburg, and I just missed him. Maybe he's... I don't know why he'd be back in the uh, the lava. Oh, look at the archery. I wonder why that that's not enough to burn the thorns. I guess I need kindling. Which is what Melina said she was going to provide. Well, I guess we'll have to hopefully find Alexander somewhere else. I don't think I'm going to find him in Farumazula. That doesn't make any sense because I think I'm the only one who got teleported there. Alright, well, we may do a little more investigating next time or we may just continue in the crumbling ruins. Either way, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you're still enjoying and um, good grief, I don't know how many more parts we have left. Oh wait, can I see? So there's the earth tree. If I go over here, can I see... 
Not really. It would be it would be down there, right? I guess I can kind of. Yeah, I would be looking at it pretty much directly right there, and you can't see it, but you can see the forge. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.